next. He might have been a little bit influenced by my play, but he still opts to go either Rax or Dragons. Alright, so do you want to introduce our players for us? So, in the top right, uh, top left, we have the red player, Bert, who's going for house first. And also, the player, in, uh, the blue player opting for the house first is Shadow. So, similar builds from these players. We'll see what production facility they will get first. That will depict the style that they want to play on this map. Yeah. I'd be surprised if it isn't Wolf's Den first, just with the size of the map and some of the scouting opportunities. And that is what Burke's going to go for. Let's see, Shadow's sending his worker down now. What's he going to go for? I would expect the same out of him. Wolves. Should be wolves. There's no reason to build a Rax all the way up there unless you're planning to wall in. Oh, and Burke going for a little bit of the mozzarella. It is going to be double wolves then, and if Shadow doesn't spot this, he could be in a lot of trouble. I mean, two wolves then and once one wolves then is not a pretty not story. Not necessarily. I've held many two dens in the past with one den expo, and it all depends on your worker micro, especially because workers, when pulled, are extremely strong. Please nerf jibs. <laughs> uh, so. If you have the micro, you can hold it off and get the fourth up as soon as possible to hold it off. But given the huge space in the natural, it may be a bit more difficult because you don't have the yeah. fourth to fall back to. And you already placed your den all the way up there instead of closer to your main. So it can be extremely difficult. Yep, yeah. and neither player opting to scout, so. Until these wolves get on the map, no one's actually going to see which builds are on the way for them. And I think that's going to be Shadow's downfall. I think just blindly going for this build, like in a in a best of three, maybe you're okay. In a best of one, where cheese is just a whim away, it's uh, that's a little bit riskier. Well, normally when you do den press, you don't. You should never send a scout, like a worker scout. You always should scout with your wolf. And finally, these two wolves meet. Shadow doesn't know if this is two den or not. Just could be one den out of Burke. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't think he's gonna find out until a big pile of dragons come crashing through his front door. Dragons, uh, wolves even. I'm just mixing up my units today. And with three wolves already out here versus just the two of Shadow. Oh, Burke's actually left one back on the ramp. What? What? Okay, um, I guess Burke is kind of fake him out by not revealing that wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's that pretty clever. Yeah, okay, so he's just faked him out as if the one wolf is going to arrive a little bit earlier. Just like a Marian build style, as just holding it back on that ramp, and that's actually just going to delay uh, Shadow throwing anything down to defend this. That actually could work out pretty well. Again, we see here that workers are too strong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> worker defense. Please, Gibbs, please, please. Yeah, Works Defense is a little bit strong at the moment, but obviously eventually this will start to snowball into uh, Burke's favor if his micro holds up. thing is, Shadow isn't rushing any defense, uh, static defense such as a fort or tower, so in the long run, Burke should have the upper advantage if Shadow doesn't respond correctly. But, of course, if Shadow holds on here, he will have much better macro uh, 
essentially powered just behind this. He's going to pull a huge chunk of workers and I'm going to try and catch these wolves out of position. Mm -hmm. Which the thing here is Shadow needs to keep his wolves alive and also make keep making wolves. Or he's just going to go get overwhelmed by sheer numbers. Yeah, and Burke is actually throwing down the plus one armor pretty shortly in the background now the testing lab's done. There's a bike's going down for Shadow, but I don't think that's going to contribute soon enough. Burke's actually losing a lot here. It's not too surprising since it's being surrounded by workers. If you are too dunning, you should always try to avoid the workers as much as possible and engage the other opponent's wolves with your wolves without the workers. Yeah, but so right. you see here if if you see the opponent pulling workers fall back, there's no reason to fight a uh, dis disadvantage fight like that. So Burke is playing correctly, but right now see he needs to fall back again. Well, he doesn't want to get caught in that corner. That would not be great for him. And if we actually bring up the gold count, you can actually see that Burke is about a hundred gold ahead. So pulling all these workers around has worked out in his favor, but there is a huge worker lead for Shadow, so if he keeps these alive, then he's going to be in a fantastic, fantastic position. Mm -hmm. So it should be a bit scarier for Burke right now when he sees the soldier up, because that soldier is going to do lots for Shadow when defending against these wolves. Yeah. And I think Burke's in a little bit of trouble right now. He's just not really done anywhere near enough damage. He's I don't think he killed a worker yet. Uh, he's killed... No, I don't think he's killed any, actually. I think Shadow's pretty much ignoring the worker balls. He's basically been undisturbed. So his economy... Yeah, right now he has the wolf advantage, so he can just basically defend these wolves. Yeah, there's a whole bunch more on the way for Burke. Uh, there's about an extra couple of wolves on the map in total. But with the soldier now, I don't like the position for Burke. I really think he needs to throw down an expansion pretty soon. Probably a double expand if he really wants to get back into this. Mm, I would say it's already too late, but Shadow can throw the game to Burke's favor eventually. Burke does have a decent position here. He will pick up a few units at the front, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. This soldier doing so much work. Like, it just rips and through. He finally walls. manages to take it out, so could be good for Burke, but actually... Shadow's second soldier is a bit delayed for some reason. Maybe he forgot to build another one. Mm. But, I mean, all in all, it it's just not done anywhere, anywhere near enough damage. Like, it denied a little bit of gold mining, but in reality, if we look at it now, Shadow's recovered from the damage that was done. He's about 200 gold ahead, and he's got double the workers. So, and like all of, pretty much all of Burke's supply is in these wolves, and they're doing nothing for him. Well, right now Burke has a huge advantage with that plus one armor, so those wolves of Shadow may not do as much, and also the these workers. I can just follow to these wolves right now. Hmm, that is actually a pretty big deal because. Burke actually coming in with Serrano, Shadow's workers actually not, obviously down to only 4 damage to hit, and the wolves basically imagine a quarter of them weren't there, and that's how this fight is going to go. Burke's actually getting a pretty good surround, he's actually trying to hold on with some of his low health wolves, he doesn't want to lose those, he wants to let them regenerate. But in comes the soldier now, and that might be enough to clean this up. No, not really, Burke's... It's just gonna flood more wolves into this fight, and Shadow needs to pull more workers. The thing is, all of his workers. Not, not, 
If he looks, so many of his workers are on low health, he practically doesn't have any that he can really risk pulling. Well, he has a lot in his lane, so if he just oh, yeah. his friend, it should be fine. And Burke actually now getting that damage that he really wanted earlier. He's getting those kills. And I think this forge before the second barracks from Shadow was a little bit ambitious. He, Shadow does still have a worker lead though, so that's not to be underestimated. But with nothing here to defend, I'm not sure that worker lead's going to do much. So... Another soldier out for Shadow, but Kirk needs to pull back right now once he sees those workers just trying to fight past more wolves and then try to go for the kill, I think. Yeah, this is going to be pretty brutal in a second here. The plus two armor has almost kicked in. It will do in just a moment. And that's going to cut and away so much of this damage. The workers are going to do practically next to nothing. The wolves' damage is cut in half. And even though these wolves aren't attacking, it's still just yet more lost mining time here for Shadow. Well, this all in isn't going to end soon because there's still 2,000 gold in Burke's main right now. So, Burke opting for a. <laughs> <laughs> the most proxy den you can possibly achieve, except without putting it in their base. I don't I think. know what to call that. I, would, I don't know if proxy was appropriate term for it's uh, more just, building that close. It's more just doorstep. It's not even proxy at this point. It's just a doorstep den. Yeah, that that manner den. It's like building a castle in your opponent's main. So I just got to be careful here because this soldier would go down to these wolves even without upgrades and with two armor. It's going to be difficult. He does actually have plus one attack on all these units though, so that's that's going to help out a little bit. But actually, this is getting pretty good for Shadows. There's actually a lot of barracks units out on the field now. Bert cancelled his den. Oh, maybe he's. I don't know, is he going to try and resign and get a, another base or something? Because right now Shadow's actually managed to just set up a wall at the front there. Obviously Burke can go uh, attack those back rocks, but I think Shadow's basically just deflected this for now. Yeah, there we go, Burke throws down the extra base that is there. Looks like Shadow managed to hold that aggression off, but if Earthmet decides to take down the workshop in the natural, he can start flooding more units in. Yeah. He chooses to. But he's got to do that soon. With two racks and a forge going on at once here for Shadow, like, he's got to do something soon with these wolves, or they're just going to go to waste. I think at the moment he's literally just trying to buy time to grab an extra base or two. I don't know why he's grabbing the third, I, unless he's going to also grab the natural. There's no really reason to. Well, again, to take the opponent out. So if Shadow managed to get to Burks' natural, he's going to think, oh, what? My opponent is still all in? Okay, I have the upper hand. And once he uh, overextends, he just might get run over by wolves. Yep. And Shadow's actually going to step out now, which I think he's probably safe to do. With this many barracks units out, he should be able to push these wolves away. He does have to be a little bit careful, though, because of the upgrades. It is plus two, plus one versus just plus one. Well, it's about to be plus one, plus one. But I think he should have enough to push away these wolves right now. Yep, Shadow also getting his third, or Burke didn't get his third, but uh, Burke needs to see this eighty step so he can counterattack with his wolves. Hmm, apparently, I don't know why, but apparently everyone's saying that you're dead silent, but I don't know why that is, because you're really loud on my end. Um, I don't know if it's something to do with Skype. Um, Probably. We, we might have to try talk GG, because... 
apparently nobody can hear you, which kind of sucks. I don't know what Skype is so temperamental. It's really weird. Anyway, Burke's gonna sh try not GG next time. So Burke's taking off a lone wolf, but that's not the trade he needs or the pickup that he needs right now. No, he's trying to get the fort and head up into dragons, but I think Shadow with this third base going down, he's already got uh, his backs like done. I think he's actually going to go up to a third barracks now. I I think it's just too late to be going to dragons, really. Mm -hmm. But you already committed to at least three upgrades mm. in the animal testing lab, so you might as well. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Book is not in a great position right now. Just. He just can't engage his own with Shadow. Like, even when dragons get out, like, you're trying to engage dragons with riflemen, and riflemen are just going to tear a hole through them. Oh, I think Shadow's actually just going to realize that this, um, third base is here. Well, he will do in a second, and that's going to basically give away everything that Burke's trying to do. I, uh, this fort isn't going to go down. He Shadow needs to pick up the workers, though. Yeah, Shadow does need to, I and mean, he might try and go for the fort. And if he does take out that second base, then he's going to be so far ahead. And actually, the workers are actually going to flee. They're not even going to try to repair this. But Shadow's not going to go for it. Oh, Shadow can potentially get surrounded. It's mostly riflemen and only two soldiers. But, but reinforcements are coming, and they should be able to clean off these wolves easily. Yeah, it's plus two, plus one versus plus one, plus two now, though. So those wolves are going to have a nightmare of a time just trying to engage anything. Dragon uh, Slayer is at least seven minutes late or something. Burke's going to go for this third base and he will go to clean up a few workers, which is nice, but he doesn't have the third base. And that's what's really going to cost him. Shadow's going to have so much macro behind this that dragons are just not going to hold up. Where do you see. Shadow is 10 workers ahead, and mine, and he already mined 1,800 gold more than Burke. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like Twitch is having a weird issue because apparently some people, like I've just been PM'd, some people can hear, him, hear you fine, and some people can't, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I actually have no idea why it's different for different people. That's pretty weird. What do you think about the choice of the workshop, though? I mean, do bad. You, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all right. For, bad. It's all right for taking down that fort, but I think more barracks would be the better choice. You don't need to take down a fort, though. Mm. The more juicier unit is the worker because the worker doesn't have any upgrades as opposed to your workers. They're more tougher since you've got the forge upgrades. Yep. If you're the dragon player, you need to save your workers preciously because those are the most fragile things that you have when you're going for animal upgrades. Oh, Burke's trying to juke this, but Shadow's seen through it already. He might be able to slip out of the bottom hand side, but he's going to take a lot of damage. There we go. The army is actually split in half for Shadow, so Burke's going to try and take this opportunity. And he might get some units, though, but I don't think it's going to be a great trade. No, the, sh the soldiers come in from the top, and Burke's going to have to back off. 40 supply against 70 supply. He don't want to be trading. No. And if you're the animal player, dragon player, he don't want to be high. 
want to be behind in supply as well. No, realistically, as an animal player, you should max up pretty darn quickly on dragons. You should, but... you should be the first one to max out, but you're behind. <laughs> yeah, the it's indicative of this going pretty badly. The wolves are going to try and come in on this third base, but the tower's there, there's a rifleman there. They're not going to do too much. And Shadow is actually now in on the second base of Burke here. It looks like he's actually just going to try and focus uh, down the fort. And the main base of Burke is actually mined out. So if he gets this base, Burke has no mining. He literally won't have enough gold for another base. He will be down to just the units he has left. And that's going to be a pretty darn big deal. The wolf harassment on the third of Shadow gets shut down. He's going to get it. Oh, nope. maybe he's going to back out. Nope. I really think he should have just gone for it. I think he could have just taken it out there. He hesitated at the last few seconds of it going down, and he decides to just trade units with her. Which isn't awful. I mean, he will get a pretty decent trade here with the extra upgrades. Well, actually, I think. Oh, but the thing is, Shadow doesn't know if Merc has a natural or not, so he thinks he may be a bit behind. He doesn't scout natural stuff. Yep, yeah, he actually hasn't been he into the natural base has at all. Bases instead of just two right now. Yeah. He actually hasn't I mean, seen the natural base. really since the start of the game. So. That's probably maybe why he's playing a little bit more cautiously. He doesn't realize how important that base is for his opponent. But it's now 70 supply versus only 40. Burke once again is going to try and... Oh no, he's, he went for the harassment. He's going to decide against it. But with this catapult here and so many units, this base is about to go down. And that's probably going to be it. The walls come in, but they're caught up against the trees. The engagement is coming in, but I think the base is going to go down. It's really close. But. Should go down. Focus fire. <laughs> Focus fire. Oh, it's down to only 60 health, 40 health. Down to 10 health. There we oh, go. The base goes go. down. Burke has no mining left. He's only got these forces left standing on the map. It's going to be eight wolves versus the entire standing army for Shadow. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be GG here. Yeah, Shadow's twin, like, Shadow's actually 30 supply up even after this battle is uh, drawing to a close. And 30 supply and two bases up? That's never. Never the position you want to be in this book. Soldiers are just too much for these wolves. Yeah. And to the viewers on Twitch, if you ever decide to go catapults against wolves, please don't. It's not. Good. <laughs> it it just doesn't work. They they just don't hit anything. Although that catapult did do something. It did actually put a lot of damage in on the base, so I give it credit for that and not much else. <laughs> But the macro behind this for Shadow is like four units at a time and three workers, so he's going to be super far ahead. He's actually attempting to long distance mine off this second base, so he's not entirely out of mining, but it's really just this pathetic little trickle of gold income. And oh Berg says GGG. And there we go.